confidence is the big key in there in children. They've got, if they've not got confidence, they're, they're not going to make it as a show jockey. They've got to dominate, they've got to own the ring. Um, and then obviously it's all down to the bones of being a rider. They've got to be able to ride, they've got to sit up and look the part. Um, it, and if, you, you know, yeah. they've got to, and they've got to have likability from the judges uh, to make it up. Demand the judges' attention from mm -hmm. the second they go in. But then not, f but absolutely for the right reasons. So not for the fact that the pony's standing on its head and they're on the wrong leg. The fact that they're riding correctly, it's a polished, neat show. They look good on it, and every the, the whole overall picture is correct. Um, and they've got to have done it and made enough mistakes to think I won't do that again because that doesn't work. And watching, yeah. watching, yeah, we, watching we get them to watch key. a lot. Going, come, in, come, in, come early in the morning and watch the actual classes, watch other kids and I get them to try and mark the other kids and see where they think they could get more marks, what, what they think they could do different. They've got to have an understanding themselves. To get... You've got Perfect. to always find a space. Yeah, but have the right product first. Yeah. Yeah. So when I say right product, so the right, you know, the right animal for the right class and hopefully it's top class. Mm -hmm. Because nine times out of ten the judge will always pick the better animal so if you've got that you're on you you're on the right lines to start um yeah, you've always got to be in a space you've got you've got to find your own space looking too close getting too close to the other one um uh, and, and, and you you'd never want to you've got to look around the ring and not to get covered up you can't you cannot be covered up um so you've got and you've got to always look where the judges are so you've got to keep your eye a lot on the judges to know when they're looking at you and when they're not. Because if, if your pony's being a bit sharp, if you're behind the judge, you can give it a bit of a shake-up and know that when you next come round, you know you're going to be. And know your ring as well. Once you go in, you've got to know if your pony, if there's a banner in the corner and you think your pony's going to look at it, you've got to get that inside bend. You've got to half cut the corner to make sure and never trot out from you when you're doing a show. Never trot at the actual thing you're going to spook at. Make sure you can evade the actual space and just be be aware. It's like spatial awareness, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You've got to know where you are in the ring. I don't know if that's five. We're just kind of that was three. That's three. Yeah. Turn out of the horse and the rider is very important, and it's something that yeah, we. You've take always got to look professional. Um, it sets you apart from the amateur home produced look to the polished finished. I know. Yeah. You've got to have the right marks and things. You can't go in a hat class and put hunter marks on it. And that's what people have to learn before they actually go in the ring. What what they they have to know what to do before they go in. Um, like what <clears throat> and plats as well. You can't go in the ring with nine plats on a hack. You've got to you've got to obviously up the game and put probably fifteen plats in. Because hunters don't have the hunters don't need as much refining. Where obviously hacks need to look glamorous. They need to look beautiful. Where hunters obviously don't, they need to look a lot much. And that with cobs as well, obviously, you have to hog them, where some people might not know that. Well, know what's required for the different um, classes with regard to shows. So in a riding horse class, you'll have, you'll do a go around and then the judge will ride, and that will be it. In the hat class, you'll do a go around, you'll do a show, and then the judge will ride. Um, in the hunter class, similar to the riding horse, you'll do a go around, the judge will ride, and then that's it. So it's a case of knowing what's required for your animal in its relevant class. It never ha hacks the only one you do a show in, isn't it? Yeah, and you'd never have a judge ride in the pony classes. Mm. Never. Mm. So it's, it's just on performance then? So and when it's marks 50-50, uh, 50 mm. on confirmation, that's when you have to do strip and 50 on show performance. Right. Okay, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. And know yeah. also how to stand your animal up correctly for confirmation when it's stripped for the judge. Mm. Because there's nothing worse than standing up incorrectly and it looking bad. You need to gather as many of those 50 marks for confirmation as you can. And by standing it up correctly, sometimes you have to stand them a certain way to hide certain things. Or sometimes you want to stand them up to accentuate good things. So oh, and you, can, you can easily make a, a good horse look bad by standing it up wrong. But if, if it's all haunched over itself, it can, it can look... You, you could get 50, 49... If, it, if you stood it up well, and, but you could also get 35 if it was stood if it was stood wrong. You could make it look short at front if it was had its head stuck up in the air. Um, so you've got to know how to stand it up. 
You've got to, and you've got to do your homework. Come back and look where, look at your horse and look where you think you can improve it. Where, how you think you can stand it up. That, where we work a lot on um, the strip. Mm -hmm. It's a confirmation.